My husband Dan and I, we met six years ago and we've been pretty much inseparable ever since. We were married three years ago. We've what I would consider a special bond. We've got a really just a good solid relationship and it's always been like that. I mean it sounds kind of crazy but genuinely from the beginning from when I first met Dan it was a different kind of love to what it is now but like I've loved him. I've always loved him and he's just he I, I feel like we knew each other you know like we've spent lifetimes together like he just, he feels like family and I would never have it any other way. It, it's funny, you know, when you're in a good relationship, whether it's your boyfriend or your partner or your husband and I came across veganism and became a vegan for a similar reason to most people. It was for personal reasons. Um, it was for health reasons. I became a vegan because I was bulimic and when I first discovered veganism I really didn't I didn't apply it to Dan, you know, I didn't it had nothing to do with him. This was something I wanted to do for me, but the more I the more I learnt and the more conscious I became of the vegan movement and what that really meant to be a vegan, the more I it wasn't that like Dan needed to be a vegan. It was just that like I wanted him to be a vegan, you know, like he was a vegan in my mind, you know, everything that veganism stood for, I know that he stood for, you know, it, most of us know that there's problems in this world. There's things that, you know, that need fixing, but most of us feel pretty powerless, you know, and feel like there's not really anything we can do to contribute. But veganism is something that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis that helps to better this planet. And those were all things that like, I knew would have meant the world to Dan. And on top of that, you know, veganism was also the healthiest diet for humans. Um, and Dan, I wouldn't call him like a health nut or anything, but he that's, he's athletic. He's always been into fitness and sports and he had health problems. You know, he had problems with digesting dairy. So I just... I just, I wanted him to be a vegan. I wanted him to be a vegan so, so, so much. And there was definitely times in our relationship where um, there was tears and there was arguments and there was upset because by me bringing veganism to our relationship, our relationship that had no problems, you know, we, we argued like every other couple, but we didn't have problems, you know, we, we loved each other and we were always on the same page and suddenly I brought veganism to this relationship and like I just changed everything and in a sense I brought a problem you know I brought these issues to a relationship that they didn't exist and then there was a guilt you know I felt this guilt like you know I was messing with what we had and when I didn't do anything or when I didn't say anything I had a guilt that I wasn't doing enough that I needed to do more and then needed to understand the vegan message and to cut a long story short Dan did become a vegan in the end and he did see what it was I was trying to show him you know there was like I said a lot of screaming and a lot of crying and a lot of experimenting with food and a lot of cooking a lot of cooking you know for me personally in my experience with Dan um it really changed when he realized that the food could be delicious and that he was happy eating this way. That's, you know, he applied it to himself and then when he could apply it to himself, he could all, all of a sudden see all the ethical sides to it. I know that's not for everyone, but that's how it was with Dan. And I can just, I can see why girls, I mean, I'm sure guys feel that way too, but um, just people in general you know when you're in a relationship with somebody who you really care about and you love and all of a sudden you come across veganism and you want to be a vegan and it can feel like you're bringing a problem into a relationship it can feel like you know you're forcing your beliefs or your thoughts on somebody else um and that that it is difficult but in my own personal experience although it did feel like that at a certain point I couldn't compare the connection that Dan and I have now with the way that we were then. I mean, 
you know, maybe things would have just changed. You know, obviously, the more time you spend with someone, you would hope that the relationship would improve over time, and that's definitely how it's been for Dan and I. But the way that it's improved since we've both been vegan, I mean, it's just anyone who has become a vegan with somebody or has seen somebody become a vegan um, and you've had a close relationship, um, you know what I'm talking about and it's just this bond that the two of you, Dan and I have never, we've always agreed on things and we've been similar in our, you know, being wanting to be hard workers and that sort of thing but we, we haven't really ever had anything in common like, you know, we don't play the same sport or have some sort of hobby in common. But, you know, veganism has really become that for both of us, you know, this thing that we both really strongly believe in and something that we really have in common. And it's really made the the bond that we have so much more powerful and so much stronger because, you know, we do live in a non-vegan world and it's very difficult. It would be very difficult to be in a relationship with somebody who was part of that non-vegan world. And you were just there on your own. And I sympathize with women who are men, again, <laughs> who are in that situation because it couldn't possibly be easy. But, you know, I think with the right communication and the right strategies on your part, and with a lot of cooking, I think, I think that really comes into it. You know, a lot of experimenting with food and just a lot of open, honest conversations. Um, try not to get too heated all the time, but... Um, I mean, if anyone ever wants me to make a video on what Dan and I actually did to become vegan, I'm sure he wouldn't even mind coming on that video. But yeah, I think I think it's definitely, I, I can see why people find it to be like, you know, you're bringing a problem to a relationship that didn't have any problems. And there's, there's a guilt in that. And I do understand that feeling because I definitely had that feeling myself. But it's worth it. You know, it does pay off in the end when when the dust settles, everything's actually really good. And I don't know how how realistic it is to have a long-term relationship with somebody who's not a vegan. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get into a relationship with people who eat meat. I have zero problem with that. I think that's a brilliant idea, to be honest with you, because most people aren't vegan, and I think it's a wonderful way of spreading the vegan message is you know, speaking to people. They, obviously, if they're, like, totally anti it and, like, they're hunters or something like that, it might be difficult. But I'm just talking about, like, the average person who really isn't vegan because they don't really understand what a vegan is. You know, they're not not vegan because they hate vegans. And even the ones who do hate vegans, do they even know why they hate vegans? So, you know, I think that dating somebody who's not a vegan is actually, you know, you're not just, like, living within your own circle. You're actually, like... It's, it's important because we do live in a non-vegan world to actually converse with the non-vegans, um, educate them and inform them, you know, just like you were educated and informed. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. That's <laughs> I'll see you next time.